Ironwood Games. This is Andrew. Today we are playing Arena. We have this festival, the Autonomous Furnace event, um, which you get an emblem whenever you discard one or more non-land cards. You may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. So we went through and it's a 60 card singleton. Oops. Um, I guess that was right. So we made this blue-black kind of focused around some like draw and discard uh, type effects uh, with some creatures and some other things. I um, have no idea how good it is um, really in it, but again, trying to take advantage of the um, discard effect. Uh, to get free discards, you know, free plays while getting card advantage. So we're going to take this in here and we're going to run it in for a few games and see what we run up against. Um, so we've got a dismal backwater. Um, eating the live is interesting. Um, we've got the silencer here. Discard a creature card. When you do, destroy a creature or planeswalker that player controls. So we'll start off with our tap land. It's a little bit of a slow hand. Um, here I think we will play Clay Revenant. We can Fading Hope. Um, and or eaten alive can be blocked. Ooh, that's a good one. So we're very much sorry, draw a card. Um, limited to what we can do or what kind of we cards we had based on what was in the collection. Um, just because fading hope. Yeah, I do actually want to draw another land, so that's fine. Um, the thing is, I don't want to ninjutsu this guy right now, because I don't have a creature card. I don't have the mana to ninjutsu and discard and play a creature card out. So instead, um, we'll just play that out. We'll attack for one. Um, this also, you know, this Urza lets us draw and discard. Uh, Raven Man is interesting. So Koilos Rock is five. We're not quite there yet. Ancient Devil Player discarded this card. Ooh, that's pretty fun. And then he can make us discard on our or on his turn, which then uh, the timing restrictions still apply, so that's actually kind of bad. So I think what we will do is we will go combat, all attack, we'll offer a trade. Our opponent will not take the trade, and in response... Or in the end, we're going to target his creature, sacrificing our Clay Revenant. We have to pay attention and do these in the right order, or you'll feel really foolish. Um, I think getting rid of Raven Man is going to be really good for us. And um, we can do that. So the other reason I like Clay Revenant is it is something we can discard and bring back to our hand too, so when we don't have other things uh, to discard, it's a fun one. Emotions are distractions. Focus sure. on the facts. You can be made. Chase is annoying. Alright, so here's this card two cards unless you discard a basic land. Um, so we kind of want 
the land. Um, decline to discard a basic land. Um, so when we have one open, we can get a second. So if we discard Clay Revenant and the Silencer. Um, we're gonna put this one in as our play. I don't think we can ninjutsu this in. Um, because it's an ability, um, but we can still play it out. Um, I wanted to try that out. I was pretty sure since it has vigilance, it didn't really cost us anything. Um, to do that. Uh, we could have ninjutsued it instead and kind of gotten something on the Jace, but what does that do? It perpetually gets minus one, minus one. So when we control no creatures, sacrifice um, that. So... Dealing with Jace is going to be important. Um, I don't really like any of our options here. Um, we'll attack. I think we'll end our turn. Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent has some time. Turn that to our hand. Let's go to combat. What is Jace going to do? Three times X cards, and it's going to essentially try and kill me. Has some uh, good cards here. So I think we've got an interesting deck. Again, it's kind of the quality of Become subdued. cards is uh, gonna matter, and our opponent definitely has higher quality cards than us. Um, because these are exactly the types of things we would be playing in this deck as well if we didn't. Um, no, cancel. Cancel, go to blockers. Okay. Well, it can't be blocked, that's why. I'm like, why can't I block it? Okay, it can't be blocked. You get to draw a card. Yep. Well, Breaker Horror is interesting. We definitely need more land. So I think... Sure, let's just go in again. Let's... Draw a card. Oh, sure. Three Planeswalkers. Of course! Um, 
Yeah, cool we're... doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. This, uh, Pinrigan besieged. It's kind of a dumb card and is really gonna cause. I mean, that's really what's causing us problems. Has no limit. Once we get that, we can play things out. Uh, we'll see what we get. Sure, I don't you know. I guess you get the plus win. one. So, I'll block. to minimize damage, get rid of that. Yeah, resolve all of those. Four, five, six. I think we're just gonna flash out uh, the rock because we can. It can take down something. I don't know what the best thing to take down is. Um, we're going to Tainted Indulgence. We are going to... I think... No, we're not going to do... We're going to do this one. Submit... Accept that. Uh, play it out. And then... Next, choose my attackers. I think we start taking down Jace. And As he'll start blanking some of my creatures. Um, could really use like our hero's downfall or something to just get rid of something. Yeah, Jace is just annoying uh, more than anything. I mean, all three of these together are just annoying. Resolve all of that, that's fine. Yeah, resolve that. Um, yeah, Teferi is... This whole thing is just... I think, gonna be too much to get through. He's, I'm assuming gonna cho choose draw a card. dead here. Um, we're not going to keep going. That was brutal. Um, not fun. No, we did not have fun. Um, so, we'll try another one here. These festivals, and I like these kinds of things they try and um, do, uh, you know, as far as these events and things. Um, I'm not always... Um, I don't always think they pull it off well. I think the ideas are interesting. Um, but I think it's really easy to, even on like Singleton, just have really degenerate decks um, and things. The It also isn't very clear in the description what is like legal, what's the format. 
Um, so we saw that like, the alchemy card um, and that other one, which I'm not familiar with really any of the alchemy cards. Um, this seems so bad. We're not going to keep it. Um, sure, we'll keep this and send back tap land. No, we kind of want lands though. Um, oh, our opponent just decided to leave. Okay. Well, we got us. We got a free one. That's a freebie. All right, I'll take freebies. I don't mind. All right, sawblade scamp. Fun, fun, fun. All right, let's try another one. Um, we didn't even decide if we wanted to keep that second hand. Or I guess we decided to keep it. We hadn't decided what to put on the bottom. And our opponent was... Had to go. So, it's happened. Um, start a game, you know, your food arrives or something uh, comes up that you know you just can't stay in it. So you uh, bow out. We've all been there. Okay, that's nice. So I haven't played... Um, against like a green white. Yeah, we're just going to play this out as a regular creature. Life and create a thing. Cool. So it looks like they're going to be somewhat aggressive. And by somewhat, I think fairly aggressive. So this one can't block, so that's kind of bad. So I'm going to play out Satoru. Um, this has first strike on our opponent's turn. This has death touch, so we'll probably block here. And we could block here just to... Or not, they'll just kill our creature. So our opponent has a pretty... Um, it's an interesting start. Jeez, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, if they only give us one option, we'll have to block here. And looks like they're gonna uh, take advantage of that really strong start. This toxic is gonna kill us. Um,. So we just have to, I think, burn everything out here. Um, the Skrelv's Hive is really good as an early play. All this toxic is nonsense. Um, so, and kind of to my point of this, of like, like, this deck here, it seems like, isn't even, right, trying to use this, um, kind of emblem. And it's just playing a singleton toxic aggro deck, um, which is fine, um, but it's kind of frustrating. It's kind of doesn't fit in with the spirit of the event. I don't know. I, um, appreciate... These events, I wish they would... Sometimes I wish they would find ways to maybe... Um, I don't want to say punish people for not playing with it, but really rewarding you for playing within the... Um, within the guidelines. Um, and I know that could still end up being maybe broken and leading to some other problems. Um, but like getting a discount on your exiled cards or being able to cast them outside of timing restrictions and things. Um, so 
we're just gonna play our two four out um because the other problem with this is we do need like this event is you just need mana to do its thing and so um these aggro decks like can um kind of prey on that or take advantage of that of saying well people are gonna uh be playing a little bit slower decks and things that Uh, want to take their time. So I want to turn lesson. The question is whether or not we want to um, discard Ashnod as a death touch creature. I think that is better. Rather than choosing what to lock down, and we couldn't tap it down anyways, um, I think putting a Death Toucher keeps their creatures back, and or we can trade with something and then lock something else down, um, or not trade, and if they attack with it, lock it down then. Just cheating creatures out. That sounds fun. Alright. So we don't control an enchantment yet. But we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could play the Depth Charge Colossus. Um, the nice thing with Ninjutsu is we can, later on, even though we play it for its prototype, we can bring it back. Uh, the question is, do we want to Tainted Indulgence into something? I don't think we do. I think we just will play the Depth Charge Colossus. Keep it up as a blocker um, for now, as our opponent's probably going to try and cheat in some big creatures. So I think having a 6-6 six, six on board um, is pretty good, which hopefully we can turn into a 9-9. Nine, nine. Ranex Atrocity is fine. Alright, so... Opponent's got some interesting things. Um, the 6-6 six, six seems pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with that. That's an instant. Yeah, let's play weak stone. Subjugation here. Um, I'm gonna decline to to pay. And we'll go next. Uh, no attacks. And end our turn.
All right, now for the sake of mana efficiency, we're gonna get rid of the Gallic Readers. That's gonna cause us, I think, long-term more problems. Um, we could Tainted Indulgence, Sacking Soul Transfer. Do we have anything to return? No. So it's kind of a better use a little bit later. Um, next, here's what we want to do. I'm going to attack with this guy. Um, one attacker. See if my opponent wants to block. Because um, I have the mana to untap him to make him a blocker again, which is really nice. Gives him some pseudo vigilance. And if not, I can Moon Circuit Hacker to do Jitsu it in. I will put scrap work mutt on the top. I could ninjutsu. Actually, that's kind of that only activates once per turn. Um, and then I don't know that I have the mana for yeah. I do have the three mana to put it up as a blocker. And that's actually kind of fun because now um, he's a 9 9. And again, we're going to keep the mana up to make a blocker. Um, that was fun. Okay, that was a cute little thing. Um, even if we don't block, we'll untap him on our turn. Yeah, resolve that. We're at the end of our opponent's turn. All right, what are they gonna put in? Blossom Prancer. Resolve that, you get Death Touch. Cool. That's fine. You get some death touch forest things. You've got death touch. You've got death touch. Am I willing to just take... Well, I've got a death touch here. Do you have anything... So, pass to blockers, block here, um, yeah, we'll take the three, um, and untap you, oh, power stone fracture is fun. Yeah, we lost an Ashnod. So let's Tainted Indulgence. Draw two cards. Discard Soul Transfer. Um, 
then place soul transfer from exile. All right, target a creature or planeswalker to exile. Um, we'll get rid of you. Turn one to my hand. Island for turn. Play out, Ashnod, back out. Um, and then we attack. And see if they're willing to chump or trade or what they want to do. Um, we can Power Stone Fracture on our next turn when they play this big predator guy. Alright, so we want to get rid of four, seven, nine, I think that way. We're happy to make that trade. have anything I want to discard. So I think we'll end our turn. Again, I think we're in a good spot here. Our opponent can cheat out their big guy. They have one card in hand. Um, we've got... Oh, nice. Okay. Um... Lots of good stuff here, so let's scrap work Mutt. Discard a card. Yes, we will discard Power Stone Fracture. We will put it into exile. Then we will cast Power Stone Fracture to destroy this. And we will sacrifice an artifact to do that. Get rid of their Toxic 6 guy. I want to be able to discard this in so ninjutsu for one two one two three so I don't think our opponent lets it through anything I think they'll block so let's no attacks in turn I think we're in the driver's seat right now. Our opponent doesn't really have anything to do. Um, we could crack yeah, the waterfront district to draw a card. Which I think we will do. We're eventually going to draw into some more land. Ooh. Target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. That's fun. And this guy is going to grow and get big and be fun. Um, so I think we're going to play Falkenroth Forebear as an attacker in the air. I think we'll play Gixian Skull Flayer as something that will grow and be another threat. And then... I think we don't have any... Um, so we could discard to destroy our opponent's things.
I don't think we need to right now. Ultimately, we might get value out of that. Um, next. I want to attack here. And I want to attack here. See what my opponent will do. Um... So I think a ninjutsu in here. Movement one trigger this. Sure, grave lighter actually seems pretty good. Um, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. So we will draw, and then we will. Discard Falcon Roth Forebear. We'll put it into exile. Go next. Get our damage. Play our Forebear out of exile. We don't have enough mana to do other things so that's fine at this point um it's just drawing and doing better than our opponent the grave lighter is interesting it um they'll just sack these dryads um so it's not super great So I think we Kaito. Looks good. Get in, get out. Easy mission. I think we actually will make a ninja that can't be blocked. It's like your defenses um, aren't even there. And go one attack. I don't think it's worth... Well, we could sack. It's interesting if we... One, two, three, four. We only have two mana left, so we can't do all of that. I think we just take the damage, take them to nine. Get a blood token. Um... Yeah, I think we will draw, and then we will discard. I think we will discard Grave Lighter. Put him out. Uh, we'll play Grave Lighter. And we will sack our token. Yeah, okay. And then, sure, end our turn. Okay, so our... Opponent got a 4-4 reach in. I think we're still in position to win this. We need to start... Well, we don't need to. But we can put cards... Onto the bottom of our library. And I think we will... Put the soul transfer on the bottom. Um, in case we have a way to shuffle up or draw into it. That'll be pretty good. We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna attack, so we might as well just get the card draw. Next. Uh, this has reach now. 
So I may have been wrong. We may not be attacking. Oh, our opponent's going to decide to give up. Okay. So we won that one. It was a little bit of a slog fest, a battle of attrition. Uh, thank you guys for sticking me out with it, or sticking it out with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I had fun with that one. Um, and I think that was a good example of kind of getting the uh, value out of those things and coming out um, with an idea for kind of playing into this theme here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll keep making more content. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and we'll be back with uh, another festival next time we got something. All right, see ya.